can't believe that these smell like. We're going to be treating lip edema today. Yes. We're going to be doing uh, liposuction of the lower leg, including calves and ankles, which we call cankles, and then we're going to go all the way up to the knee and do all these areas in a 360 degree fashion. And Jacqueline, why don't you, can you tell us a little bit about uh, what brought you here? and how you found out about lipidema things? Sure, so um, I have had lipidema my whole life, but I only realized that it had a name uh, a couple months ago. Um, I was actually uh, binge watching Love Island like much of the world <laughs> uh, during the pandemic, and I noticed that there was a contestant who had legs that reminded me a lot of mine. And so I did a little bit of research and it turned out that she had a condition called lipedema and she used her platform to speak out about it. So okay. um, thanks to her doing that, I was able to find out that I have lipedema myself. I got diagnosed a couple of weeks later. And then after very, very extensive research and the help of a lot of different lipedema communities online, yeah. I was lucky enough to find Dr. Sue. Okay. Cool. So, Love Island. And I, I don't watch Love Island. I think I've heard of it. Yeah. But someone actually talks about her condition on the show? No, so she um, she was a contestant on the show, and I mean, she was tall, beautiful, gorgeous model, but um, she received a lot of backlash online because a lot of people saw her legs, and people are unfamiliar with lipedema and didn't know what it was and thought that there was something wrong with her. And so, because um, her legs got a lot of attention on the show, um, people within the lipedema community reached out to her and told her, I think that you have this condition, you should get it checked out. Uh -huh. And so okay. then she was very public about it after the fact. Oh, yes. yeah, that, that is actually great for awareness. Absolutely. And um, you live with something, uh, I'm going to narrate a little bit, live with something that you felt was just fat on your legs for yes. all, all your life, right? Yes. But in doing the research, you're telling me that now you discover, okay, after learning about it, lipidema actually has some, uh, some things that are associated. Heaviness, fatigue, and what you're telling when you work out, you tire out very easily. Very easily. And you're, I was really asking Jacqueline if she had pain. She's like, oh, I'm not sure, I guess not, not, not. And uh, what I can say about that is a lot of people are like that because when they live with a condition that's been there all their life, basically since their early teens, that they're not even sure if the tenderness that becomes second nature is really even something that's there, right? That's correct. So I do have a lot of patients that find out, they go, oh wow, something feels different now. Yep. After we take the pattern. So hopefully that will be, you know, something you notice too. Jacqueline, you're very thin and you've got a nice slim figure up top. And then we look at um, your legs and the telltale sign, I would say classic sign of lipedema is, you know, a lot of thickness around this area between the calf and ankles. It's not just that alone because lipedema can affect the entire leg. Can you turn around for me, Jacqueline? But women who have um, excess fat down here around the calf and ankle area, Compared to the upper thigh area, people that you know are, I would say that's a classic pattern of lipidema. Having fat that's more concentrated down here than it is up here, and, and more down the legs and arms than it is on the uh, middle of the torso. So that's kind of a telltale way, you know, to um, suspect that you have lipidema. Then, you know, some of the questions I think that are the most appropriate for these patients is that they have tenderness, fatigue, heaviness in these areas. Tenderness to the touch. So anyways, that's a little general breakdown and uh, how we, you know, begin to suspect that someone does have lipidema. So you ready to get started? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay. <laughs> okay, Jacqueline, how are you doing? Doing well. Okay, for those of you out there watching, uh, we just finished Jacqueline's first leg, her right leg, and she's about to see it for the first time. Come on up Ooh. here. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't even process this. That's so crazy. This doesn't look like my leg. This is amazing. Okay, the undone leg right here yeah. is a little bit puffier because we have fluid in it, but this is pretty much a shape that we're gonna, um, Jacqueline's gonna have, you know, when everything's healed. Looks a little blotchy right now, it's just, you know, the fluid and uh, how it makes wow. the legs look. You ready, come on, come up, Jacqueline, let's take a look, okay? Stay on the pads, okay? Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> 
Oh my god. That's insane. Thank you so, oh my gosh. You're welcome. I'm, I'm showing everybody the backs of your legs right now. Oh my gosh. Is it okay if I turn around? Yeah, turn around, turn around. And then, um, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is somebody else's leg. Look over your shoulder and go tippy toe. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, it's like a third of my other leg. That's so crazy. Yeah. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Okay. Well, cool. Yeah, talk to the next one. How was it? <laughs> how was it so far? It was good. It was okay. good. Okay. You know, Some was, little stingy areas? Yep, there were definitely moments okay. of, uh, of discomfort, but nothing I can't handle and nothing I'm not ready to do again. Cool. Come on back there. Okay, we're taking a look at both legs now that they're done. And, Jacqueline, what do you think? I'm so happy. I just, I can't believe that these are my life. Cool. Any, any comments? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Awesome. I like that comment. Okay. Say bye-bye.